Good morning children. Today we shall learn about different types of combustion and flame. You may have observed not all substances burn the same way. Some burn slowly, some burn rapidly, isn't it? Some substances burn with flame while others burn without flame. You must have seen a burning gas stove. After applying the gas lighter, the gas burns rapidly and produces lot of heat. So, this kind of combustion is called rapid combustion. You know, there are substances that start burning spontaneously. Like, if someone keeps white phosphorus in air, it would catch fire instantly. No need for a matchstick. This kind of combustion which starts spontaneously is called spontaneous combustion. We all love to burst crackers on festivals. Crackers don't burn like candle kerosene. Instead, when the cracker is ignited, heat, light and sound is produced through sudden chemical reaction. Large amount of gas is also produced. Such quick reaction is called explosion. When we light a candle, we get a candle flame. But do we see a flame when charcoal is burning? No. Substances which vaporize during burning give flame. Wax vaporizes during burning so we get flame. Same is true for kerosene, petrol, etc. But charcoal doesn't vaporize during burning, so we don't get flame. Look at the flame. It has many colors. You know, not all the parts of this flame are equally hot. The innermost part, which looks dark, is the least hot part. It is the dark zone. Wax vapor remains mostly unburnt here. The external bluish part is the hottest part. Temperature of that part can be as high as 1400 degrees because the complete combustion of fuel happens here. This is the non-luminous zone. The brightest part of the flame is little cooler than that around 1200 degrees Celsius. And partial combustion of fuel takes place here and this is called the luminous zone. You know, temperature of the flame varies with the fuel type also. Like butane gas, which we use for cooking, burns with 1970 degrees Celsius. Temperature of octaacetylene flame, which is used for welding, is about 3500 degrees Celsius. So, the temperature depends on the fuel type. So, to sum up what we learned today, there are different types of combustion. Rapid combustion, in this case, the substance burns rapidly. For example, on bringing the gas lighter near a gas stove, after turning its knob to the on position, the gas burns rapidly and produces lot of heat and light. Spontaneous combustion. The material here suddenly bursts into flame without the application of any apparent cause. That is, it is spontaneous in nature. For example, burning of phosphorus at room temperature. Explosion. The sudden reaction takes place with evolution of heat, light and sound and also large amount of gas is formed. For example, as in the case of burning crackers. Lastly, we learnt about the three different zones of a flame. Dark zone, it is the innermost part. It looks dark and is the least hot part. Non-luminous zone, it is the external bluish part of the flame and it is the hottest part.
third part is the luminous zone it is the brightest part of the flame and it is little cooler than the non luminous part that's all for now bye bye children